What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is once again Legacy Kill HD back today with some more Call of Duty Ghost, and today we're doing episode two of the best and worst of weapons in Call of Duty Ghost. And today we're gonna be going through the submachine guns or SMGs, and we have almost gameplay for every single SMG, which is actually pretty awesome. Some exclusive gameplay that's probably never been seen before: the K7 and CBJMS on the map Overlord. And I know there's not been a lot of gameplay at this time of Overlord, so this may be your first look at the map. Anyway, guys, we have a lot to go through. Make sure you smack the like button at the end of the video if you do enjoy or find any of this information informative. And also, make sure to tell me what are your favorite SMGs of Call of Duty Ghost yet uh, so far. And um, tell me what your worst uh, submachine guns are. What do you think is going to be the worst SMG in Call of Duty Ghost? We're going to start with the Vector CRB. It is a weapon in extinction. Obviously, the new game mode, which is alien based, and it's a fully automatic and has high the highest penetration and damage in in its class. Uh, some attachments are the holographic sight, the red dot sight, the silencer, armor piercing, extended mags, and select fire. It uh, shoots automatically, and the round size is 36 bullets. So this weapon actually, we've seen a lot of gameplay for it. It looks very nice. It looks very awesome. It looks very fun to use. We obviously have seen it in a lot of Call of Duty before this. I believe it was in Black Ops 2. I think MW3 and MW2. At least it was versions of the Vector. And you know, it's never been exactly that top weapon at its bracket. I think this may be the Call of Duty that it is at its best. It will be the best weapon, best submachine gun of Call of Duty goes. But obviously, uh, I'm going to go down the list and I'll, t I'll probably go at the end tell you guys what is the best submachine gun in my opinion. So now let's move onto the Vepper. The Vepper's description is a fully automatic in its largest ammo capacity capacity in its uh, class with a low recoil. That's a bullpup assault, I mean, submachine gun. And some attachments are the th uh, thermal scope, hybrid optic, ACOG sight, muzzle brake, red dot sight, uh, foregrip, and rapid fire. And obviously we've only seen a little bit of gameplay of this, but this weapon looks very interesting. It kind of has a COD 4 feeling towards it. I don't think it's going to be one of those those top-notch uh, submachine guns in this game, but I do think it's going to be very very versatile, and I think a lot of you guys will be seeing uh, many players using it. I just don't see it at its top, but uh, definitely is an interesting weapon to try out at least. Now let's get to the K7. It has an integrated silencer. What it means by integrated is that there's a permanent silencer on there. It does not count as an attachment, so you can put other attachments on it. So say if you only have space for maybe one attachment for uh, your submachine gun, the silencer will not count because it's already on it and you cannot take it off. So you may want to add, you can add something else, maybe like a red dot or stock or something. And we've seen, and this is actually some exclusive gameplay here on Overlord. It looks very interesting. This is obviously against bots. I'm not, I want to make sure you guys do realize that this isn't against, against actual players. But it does look like a very interesting weapon. Um, I just I, I think it looks very nice in this gameplay, but I just don't think it's gonna be one of the top weapons in Call of Duty Ghost. You know, I think there's just better submachine guns, and you guys will find this gameplay to be very interesting just because it looks very powerful. It does look powerful, but this is once again it is, is against bots, and I don't think we've seen a lot of weaknesses out of this weapon yet. But we'll have to see, but I don't think it's going to be one of the top weapons. Now let's get to the MTAR X. Obviously in Black Ops 2, we thought this was going to be one of the best weapons, at least I did personally, and it sadly was not. And it is a fully automatic and has, long, it has longer range with moderate recoil. And another description of this actually says it's a select fire capable, all-purpose weapon that is effective at any range. And it's a fully automatic submachine gun. The round size is 38 bullets. And some attachments are the red dot sight, silencer, foregrip, ACOG sight, and the holographic sight. Um... This MTAR actually, once again, I, I'm, I'm sadly going to have to say it's going to be one of the best. I think it is going to be one of the best. Um, for a submachine gun, I think this is going to be the best range weapon. So if you're on one of those bigger maps, I think you'll be able to use this a lot better than some of the other weapons that have um, some smaller range, I guess you could say. But uh, MTAR X, it looks very impressive so far, but anything can change with a patch or an update. But right now, I do think it's going to be one of the better ones, better uh, submachine guns to use. Now to a weapon that we do not have very much gameplay of. I don't think we actually have any gameplay at all. We just have some pictures. It's Bazan. has 36 rounds, 54 with extended mags. It's fully automatic. And some attachments are the silencer, holographic sight, extended mags, muzzle brake, and the ACOG sight. I think we do, we do have gameplay pictures of it. Uh, the Bazan, it's going to be a surprise for me because I don't know what to expect out of it. Could be the best, could be the worst. Um, we've obviously, I've been watching a lot of IGN videos of Call of Duty Ghost. They've had opportunities to pick up the weapon and they have not. So very sadly, we do not know what it, to expect out of this weapon. But when the game does come out, and you're, if you're watching this video, tell me what you think of the weapon because this will be a surprise. Now to our last weapon, which I'm actually very, very impressed with that a lot of people 
honestly probably did not expect the CBJ MS. It feels a lot like MW3's MP7. I was watching a live stream. This guy's already got Call of Duty Ghost a little early, and he's playing it. And I watched a lot of gameplay, and that's actually what we have on the screen right now. A lot of uh, all the links to the sources of this gameplay will have a link in the description. But the CBJ MS is very impressive. Um, it, it it looks exactly like the MP7. I thought it would be like one of the Black Ops uh, One submachine guns, which really weren't impressive. I think what was it, the PM9? But it looks a lot like the MP7. It has. A, it looks like the bullet damage is very, very easy to kill somebody with. So I do think this will be one of the better submachine guns in Call of Duty Ghosts. Even the uh, I something tells me we're going to see a patch with this, just because it looks a little bit overpowered. Uh, it's just my initial reaction. But the CBJMS, I think that could be the surprise weapon of Call of Duty Ghosts that you see a lot of people using. Now, guys, to the roundup of this video, I do think the Vector CRB will be the best submachine gun in Call of Duty Ghosts. But I do think that the CBJMS does have a chance of holding that top spot as the best submachine gun. I think those two uh, weapons will be battling against each other, kind of like in MW3 where we had the PP90M1 and the MP7 battling against each other. I think that we'll be seeing the these two weapons battling against each other, unless there's updates and patches where, you know, who the, who the hell knows what's going to happen. Happen because we know that Activision had, well, Activision and Treyarch had their little thing in Black Ops 2 where they made the PDW awful. I mean, day one, PDW, amazing weapon, and then maybe two months later, it was just, it was really bad. It was probably one of the bottom SMGs. So we'll have to see what exactly happens with patches and updates, but the initial reaction is that these two weapons will be the best submachine guns. On the flip side, what is going to be the worst submachine gun? I think that the Vepper will be at the bottom of Call of Duty Ghost. Although this weapon does look interesting and have a COD 4 feeling towards it, and it kind of looks versatile, it just doesn't really have as much power as the other submachine guns. You look at the gameplay, it just looks like it takes more bullets to do damage, and with the other submachine guns, you saw that there was insta-kills going on, and the rate of fire the Vepper looks higher than the others and I think that's going to be the main problem with this weapon so we'll have to see but I just don't see it as being the top notch weapon that it could have been so in my opinion that is going to be the worst and then there's also the other weapons like the K7, the Mtar X, the Bazan those are toss up weapons I think they could be great weapons but I also think that they could go for the worst but anyway guys that is my opinion make sure you tell me in the comments what your favorite and worst submachine guns are in Call of Duty Ghost because obviously when a lot of you guys are going to be watching this video you probably already have had your hands-on experience with this game anyway guys my name is legacy kill hd or michael and uh make sure you smack the like button if you did enjoy the gameplay or the information and also subscribe for more call of duty ghost news and information and easter eggs and tips and tricks and all kinds of stuff and i'll see you guys later